Hello and welcome to P-Tech. In this video, we're going to be having a look at some of the best apps for January 2019. In this video, we'll be having a look at some of the best apps for January 2019. All the apps in this video are absolutely free, so if you want to download any, have a look in the description and all the links are down there. The first app on this list is called Sweatcoin. Sweatcoin is an app that pays you for walking. The more steps you take, the more in-app points you get. If you ever needed an incentive to do more, it's this. The app is dead easy to use. Download it, walk, and it pays you. The app requires access to your GPRS data so it can try and track the steps you take as accurately as possible. Honestly, it's going to take ages to get enough sweat coins to earn anything decent. But if you download the app, forget about it and then come back to it in a few months, you may have earned loads of points. You can get some fairly decent stuff with some small points so you can get free audiobooks, free coffee, three months of Tidal if anyone cares about that. The more points you get, obviously the better the stuff is that you can receive. So, for example, you get 20,000 sweat coins, you can buy an iPhone XS or swap it for a thousand pound cash. The next app is Live Wallpaper. Live Wallpaper lets you create live lock screen wallpapers from the videos that you've got saved in your camera roll. Click create your own wallpaper, find the video you want to use in your library, and then trim the video to however long you want it to be. To get the best looking wallpapers, use videos that are shot in portrait rather than landscape. You can hit the play button at the top right to make sure it looks good. And then when you're done, just save it. Once it's saved, go to the picture in the camera roll and set it as the lock screen. If you don't want to make your own from the videos that you have in your camera roll, then the app has a few categories you can choose from and you can make it one from the templates that it offers you there. The next app is Phone Guardian. Phone Guardian is a VPN app. What it does is that when you're on unfamiliar Wi-Fi, it protects your phone and your data. It's a really simple and quick app. Every time you log on to an unsecure Wi-Fi, so for example in Starbucks or when you're out having a meal or on the bus, Turn on Phone Guardian and it will protect you for as long as you're on that unsecured Wi-Fi. If Phone Guardian detects any unencrypted data while you're on a Wi-Fi that you don't know, it will automatically encrypt that traffic to make sure that your data is safe. You might be a bit suspicious that Phone Guardian is a free VPN app, but if you have a look at the FAQs inside the app, it says their goal is to provide secure free VPNs for everyone without using any ads or any in-app purchases as well. This app couldn't be simpler to use. All you've got to do is hit start protection and then the VPN will kick in. The next app is a food rating app called Eaton. Eaton allows you to search any area that you live in or around the world to get reviews on restaurants. You can also search for restaurants based on cuisine or dietary requirements. What makes this restaurant review app different is that the people that are uploading their reviews are real foodies so they care about what they say. Every review that is on this app also has a photo to follow it so you can see exactly what the food looks like before you even think about ordering it. You review certain menu items. When you're searching for a restaurant in a certain place, it gives you a map overview. All you do is zoom in, pick the restaurant you want, have a read of the reviews, and if you've been, leave a review yourself. Up next is Pantone. Pantone is an app that's brilliant if you're a designer. If you haven't heard of Pantone before, each colour has a unique Pantone number, which means it makes it really easy to find and reproduce. One of the best options this app has is to search a photo for all the certain colours in it. It can accurately give you the Pantone reference for every colour in the image. When you open an image, you can move the colour circles around to the colour that you want to try and find the reference number for. If you're looking for colour ideas, then the app has a load of different colour boards you can search through and get a Pantone reference number for a colour you see there. If you're really into design, there are articles that you can read that get updated every couple of weeks as well inside the app. The coolest thing about the app is that it works with Adobe Creative Cloud, so if you see a colour that you really like, you can send it straight to Photoshop. The app is totally free, but there are a couple of subscription methods you can do to try and get a few more colours if that is something that you need. The next app is I Love Hue. I Love Hue is a movable tile-based game. The idea of this game is that each tile is a different colour and you have to move the tile to go in colour shade order. It sounds really easy, but it's one of the most frustrating games that I've ever played in my life. Especially when you get further and further into the game that all the colour shades start to look really similar to each other and you start to question whether you're wrong or the app's wrong. 
You get this weird sense of achievement when you get quite far and you're able to match all the colours. The final app on the list is called Friendly. Friendly is an all-in-one social app. You can link all of your social media to this account and check them all without having to switch between different apps. It was made for Facebook, but now it works really well with Twitter and especially Instagram. The Instagram part of the app is my favorite because it lets you do a load of different things. For example, you can download pictures directly from inside the app. It also lets you repost other users' Instagram photos. And when doing it, it gives you the option to watermark it on the left side, right side, the bottom or the top, or remove the watermark altogether. You can use the app for Twitter and YouTube as well. For YouTube, it's more of a desktop site, but still works incredibly well. And for Twitter, it's exactly the same as the Twitter app. There's a massive list though of other accounts that you can link up to Friendly. They are the best apps for January 2019. All the links are below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like and also subscribe. If you've got anything to say on the apps featured in the video, comment them below.